day. Uh, just kind of wanted to make just a short video to say hi, because I know some of y'all are probably missing my, you know, my pretty face and my wonderful voice. But also maybe go over a couple of little welding things with you just to reinforce some things we may have already talked about in the past. Uh, what we're going to talk about here is basically the joint types and the weld types and maybe just brush on on welding symbols just a little bit hopefully uh, the assignments that I left you have been something you can learn from and not necessarily just something hey I gotta get this done because there's a substitute here uh, you know it's 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 there for a purpose I know that it may be a little bit harder to understand sometimes if we don't discuss it or have the ability to answer, ask questions but you know work on through it if you've got questions feel free to contact me okay my I'll, I'll put my email address on the end of this you can also always text me if you have welding related questions and I hope you all have a wonderful day and we'll go ahead and get started. So the first thing we're going to go over are the joint types. The joint types we've got a butt joint which always has a groove weld in it. Then we've also got an edge joint, a corner joint, the lap joint, and the T joint. The first type of joint we're going to look at is going to be the butt joint. Butt joints have only got groove welds. Now the type of groove welds that can go in a butt joint can vary quite a bit and we'll talk a little bit more about those some other time. But mainly a butt joint, two edges come together and you weld at the groove that's formed between those two edges. The next joint we're going to talk about is going to be the edge joint. The edge joint is kind of useful when you have two thinner pieces of sheet metal and you want to weld them together but it's a little hard when they're just butted together so I can actually bend up the edges of those a little bit and weld on the edge and that makes it a little bit easier for some thinner materials the next joint that we have is a corner joint basically where two pieces of material come together and form a corner now with a corner joint you can have different types of welds you can have a groove weld or you can have a fillet weld and we'll learn more about those a little bit later Understand though that with a corner joint, sometimes weld on the outside may be a little bit different than weld on the inside part of the corner as far as settings go and how the heat's dissipated. And we'll learn more, more, more about that as we weld some. The next joint we'll look at is going to be the lap joint. Now, the lap joint typically has a fillet weld, but one of the things about a lap joint is it can have actually some other weld types, which include a groove weld if the, uh, one of the pieces were beveled, and also it can have what's called a plug and a slot weld. And again, hopefully we'll learn more about those as we go forward. The last joint we're going to look at is the T-joint. T-joint is pretty easy to remember because it kind of looks like the letter T. Uh, with a T-joint you can have fillet welds. You can weld it on one side or both sides. You can have groove welds. And a uh, T-joint is one of the joints that we'll actually, actually practice during class pretty regularly. So hopefully this has helped you a little bit understand the joint types a little bit better. Again, for those of you that already know them, then uh, I guess it was just the pure enjoyment of getting to listen to my voice again. Uh, you know, as we go forward, we've got lots of things to learn. But off the top of your head as a welder, you should know what a butt joint, a corner joint, an edge lap, and a T-joint look like. You should also understand the concepts of a groove weld and a fillet weld. Anyway, I hope you all have a great rest of the day. Take care. Bye.